backcountry, camping, fishing, and exploring. The lake in the middle of nowhere. Follow us as we push ourselves to get to our destination. Finally made it. To spend the night in the wilderness. Our journey begins with a challenge, accessing these remote fishing spots. It's not just about getting there, it's about being prepared for the physical demand and the unexpected wilderness conditions. You've got to be willing to put in the work to hike for hours and even then there is no guarantee for success. The wilderness can be unforgiving. The struggle is real. Getting the canoe full of stuff through a kilometer and a half trail. Almost there. Ooh, I can't wait to get this into the water and I just pedal across the lake. Finally made it. Couldn't be more excited about that. All right. Canoe is afloat. Water is so beautiful. Sun is setting. Let's get across the lake. I cannot wait to throw a top water popper or a whopper plopper. Get some small more blow ups. We definitely got lucky. Water is so calm, so nice to paddle. It's a little late and we still have to cross this first lake. Hopefully cross the other trail again tonight. Set up camp. And then get up early in the morning and get to fishing. All right, we just made it across the first lake. Now we just have to walk the second trail. Set up camp, catch some fish tomorrow. Good morning, we just woke up, got everything ready, had a thunderstorm pretty much all night, but weather's absolutely beautiful now, the clouds cleared up and we're ready to go fishing and let's catch some fish. Your bait choice is crucial, you've got to know what the fish are feeding on, what they're looking for and how to present that lure to them. Got a little bit of a better current here. Got him. First fish on. Nice smallie. Yes, first smallmouth bass on the spinner bait. What a gorgeous fish. So healthy. And we're gonna let her go. Spinner bait pops right out. Yes, and that was one healthy smallmouth. Let's try it out a few more times. Got this calm area, no wave. So I'm gonna throw a white popper. Oh, came off. Damn, that was a good bass. Got him. Small one. 
talking about is small bass. Can't get any cuter than that. Back she goes. The popper is almost the same size as the bass. Surprised that little bass even came up for it. Got him. Pike. I don't know what we're here for, but hey. It's a fish, right? What a pretty fish. But let's let her go. That was cool too. Might not be the species that we're after, but didn't really come here and expecting just to catch smallmouth bass, so. Let's catch another fish. Got one. Yes. Oh yes, that's a good fish, that's a good fish. Yes, another smallie on the board. I thought it was bigger, but I took a bunch of grass with it. Just fat. Once again, just swallowed that Guggen spinner bait. What a gorgeous fish. Just a chunky, fat, small mouth. So, gonna unhook her and let's get her back where she came from and back she goes Got him. Nope. Just another pike. It's a bigger pike than the first one. Look at his teeth. What an awesome day. All right, let's get this gator back. And back she goes. Honestly, I couldn't complain. We came back here for the backcountry trip and didn't expect a lot. Obviously, we came here to catch fish, but what an awesome time. Thanks for watching, and if you're new here, consider subscribing for more outdoor adventures and fishing content.